Welcome to Golden Turd Season 1, Episode 5, where we are watching 32 horrible, classic, well, maybe not classic, but 32 movies to find the best of the bunch, that one golden turd, while at the same time casting shame upon the worst movie of the bunch. This episode's theme is stop motion animation, and we just finished watching two very horrible films. We've seen some strange things tonight. Strange creatures that we know don't belong on our planet. The Crater Lake Monster, 1977, written and directed by William R. Stronberg and starring Richard Cardella, Glenn Roberts, and Mark Siegel. Uh, the, the other second movie we're watching is The Daytime Ended, uh, 1979, directed by John Bud Cardoz and starring Jim Davis, Christopher Mitchum, and Dorothy Malone. I am Shane, and you can check me out online at Cosmic Comics, where I discuss classic Marvel comics, or Cosmic Peppers, where I do Pepper Pod reviews. Today, I'm joined by Laura and Jonathan. Let's start today's discussion with the Crater Lake Monster. Jonathan, why don't you uh, tell us about the Crater Lake Monster? Well, this 1977 peach was... Um... <laughs> Is basically this is this was my take on a short synopsis. You've got a scientist, you've got a sheriff, you've got a doctor, and they look for a meteorite and they find a dinosaur. And then hijinks ensue as all the townies kind of get picked off one by one. Um, and uh, yeah, the sheriff has really great facial hair and sunglasses. And he drives a station wagon. Yeah, yeah, he's great sideburns. Um, yes, Ar Arnie also has really great facial oh, hair yeah. and yeah. and hats. Like yeah. Ar Arnie's got a really great. Arnie is great another hat. character with great facial hair. Yeah. 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 Yep. So yeah, he's he's one of the the classic counties. I think uh, unexpectedly in a uh, prominent role. Um, yeah, Pam and Mitch. There are lots of uh, long boating shots in this movie. Mm. Mm -hmm. There's lots of long, uh, there's the same, there's several same lake shots that we get like over and, and over again. Those, those are, those are beautiful. Um, well, the, I, I personally think the saving grace behind this movie is Arnie and, uh, and Mitch. Uh, to me, they absolutely take it home. Um, I don't think you expect that when you get introduced to the characters who we get introduced to at a diner who were totally just turning around and like checking out the waitress's legs. Like, you think these are going to be, like, the skeezball, scuzzball, like, townie-style characters of the movie, and instead they end up being this great comic relief uh, throughout the entire thing. And really, to me, other than that, and, like, maybe the minute or less we get of claymation scenes, uh, they're the only thing that saves this movie. There's there's nothing that that's really good here. I mean, there there's some good stuff in a funny way, um, such as they didn't have a lot of money for post-production or the, the company that was doing the post-production just totally crapped out on them. So there were supposed to be scenes where they were supposed to go in and put the blue tent to, to make it night. So we get scenes like where they come through on the beach and they've got a flashlight and they're like looking around and... and it's got to be like 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's clearly shot. Yeah. Completely <laughs> shot in the day. And... Um, Whatever it was, it's apparently gone back into the lake. So I mean, but those those moments like make the movie funny, but there's not 
there's just not not a lot of there there the monster isn't that good the special effects other than the claymation aren't good uh just red paint it looks like is used for blood um mm-hmm. I, I don't know what what have <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll, yeah. uh, while I'm on my tear here, there's too many guys who wear white in this movie. There are so <laughs> many guys who wear white suits and white sweaters and white shirts. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I was going through and pulling some clips from this movie to do this, and oh my, there's just like, I, I don't, like, this has got a little bit of white in it, but like, I don't, as a guy, I don't go around wearing, like, a whole lot of white, and well, especially if I'm going to go spend, like, a day out on the lake. Um <laughs> no i think i think arnie and mitch is what makes this movie yeah that's that's definite um if it wasn't for them the movie would have been completely boring arnie you're one mighty fine sign painter do you know something you sure can't spell worth a damn i mean look at that everybody knows bait spelled b-a-t-e Hmm. Suppose anybody will notice. It, the the monster is just like so. It's it's not a very good rendition of a stop action. It most of the scenes, like some of the scenes, are just like it looks like they just had like a a dinosaur head that they floated in a, a bucket of water or something. I don't know. <laughs> So, that, that's, so the scenes with the with the uh, monster are two things: either the stop motion, or they literally are just a, a rubber head that they got. Yeah, yeah. 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 Or they it do the just... cut from head to victim, to yeah. th- like still shot of a bo- like the dinosaur body, yeah. back to still shot of dinosaur head. There's there's a lot of trying to do that to incur action, yeah. and it does it just doesn't work for. And there's not even like a cut back to like the dead body. It, it'll just like cut away from the action completely it'll go from like person being like to (laughs) the rubber head to that's it right and then sometimes there's blood sometimes most of the time there's not and then so like you get the the random like the oh look at all the blood and it's like well that wasn't there in the scene but after the fact they kind of go in and like throw some blood around and be like look this is where he was dead Um, (laughs) yeah so so the best that's where we found him and the best blood in the movie comes from the other movie that was put inside of this movie which right. you get about, your favorite part like yeah you get like 40 <laughs> minutes into this movie and suddenly we cut away to like this this blonde guy who looks like he could be like arnie's dad i was really hoping there was going to be like a tie-in or something and there there wasn't and he goes to get a, a he's out of liquor and he goes to get a bottle of liquor and in the process shoots the guy behind the counter and a customer coming in mm-hmm. and Four seventy five. Tax for the gov. Oh, hey, come on now. Third time this month. Can't you guys get a nice fat bank? ends up running across the sheriff it's just like this whole other action sequence that was thrown in to pad the movie out but he does when he shoots the two people that's like better blood and violence than we get from anything. <laughs> and the and the car chase the scene that ensues yeah. when eventually like the sheriff is like checking his plates so you get this random car chase with a yep. uh, ends up with a car going off the cliff And you're just wondering, like, who wanted to budget that? Budget. Yeah. Like, wow. Because yeah. that was they had a they had the super low budget of like a hundred grand or whatever, and you got to figure that ate up a, a bunch of it <laughs> compared to everything else that they weren't spending money on. They're like, they bought that car for two hundred dollars. I don't know. What... <laughs> and then just had a couple of guys push it off a cliff, probably. <laughs> they pushed it off the cliff, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't a new car. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, was, I wonder who whose quarry that was that gave that him, was really gave him the land to do that on. <laughs> Another shot I sort of liked in the movie that I thought was a little crazy is there's a shot where they literally run a boat up on shore. Um, that was that was a little bit. That's the uh, the, oh, yeah. the white city guy who come not white but like he's dressed all in white like a white <laughs> suit again who come he's drunk and comes and like rents a boat for Arn from Arnie and uh, and Mitch and and takes that. Yeah, that, he's. Uh, the, I think that. they're a magician and his assistant. Yeah, is that what he, he was a magician? Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, they were. Well, they were a couple too. He was. He was a yeah. magician because she told him she didn't want him sawing her in half while he was drunk. Okay. Right. Yeah. So they, their their car breaks down. They get they rent a boat for a little bit, and it's supposed to be night times. But uh -huh. so of course the entire scene takes place in broad daylight. Yeah. Um. But it is. It's a rowdy boat. Yeah, kind of chase. It's supposed to be a chase across the water, and then yeah. that Dinosaur scene where they come up them. on land is them in the boat, like <laughs> yeah. hands down. Like I was just like, holy cow! They, they were not not, not paying for stunt shore. doubles, like, right? Yeah, and. <laughs> Of course, the movie ends in, in tragedy. Like, there's oh, comedy in this movie, but it, it ends in tragedy when they sad. kill off Arnie and and the Beast. Like, yeah. Damn you, Arnie. And as far as I'm concerned, those those were the only two saving graces in, in the entire movie. <laughs> and once they were gone, like... Yeah. Yeah. It does. Oh it ends God. in tragedy. It's it a did. perfectly it good so waste. Mm -hmm. oh, um, very sad. Yeah, but it did look good um, yeah. as far as because it was filmed all in broad daylight. I think mm -hmm. I mentioned that, that it makes it look good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and there's a nice tracking shot that kind of starts the movie off as they escape the mine and you're like, okay, these people know what they're doing. And then they ran out of budget shortly after that and so or something <laughs> and it's just a it's a mess after that yeah, yeah and the director said there was no budget or anything really put towards post-production at all so that's why mm -hmm. you just get nothing but hard cuts and edits throughout the entire film there's not a single fade shot throughout the entire thing but um yeah, <laughs> yeah the oh, timeline no. is terrible yeah like the editing just kind of takes all the cinematography and just butchers it there were a couple other funny scenes. There was a scene where they were sitting around drinking and you got like the barnyard that shows up behind them where you keep having this menagerie of like uh, various animals and cats and dogs uh, uh, sh showing up behind uh, Arnie and, oh, yeah. and Mitch as they're having their little, their little drink. Meanwhile, I plan to get a lot drunk. Uh, nope, I'm just drunk at present. Now, tomorrow I'll probably be hopeless. Things always look hopeless when I'm sober. Yeah, um, they're having a little party. Uh, Ross, that was the magician's name. Ross! Ross! Ross uh, takes, uh, he takes a bunch of uh, um, gasoline and pours it into the boat. That's how he chases <laughs> off the monster. Is he is he pours gasoline in the boat and lights it on fire? Um, I don't know how that was supposed to, but it works. It works. So I guess like the mm -hmm. magician knew knew what he was doing when it when it came. Yeah, out. it scared oh, the monster God. away. This is yeah. such a bad movie. Um, it really is. I, I really I did not enjoy watching it. Well, I I enjoyed like I the, I, I have part. to say I did. Yeah. Yeah. I actually was. It was all right. I enjoyed it because Crater Lake. California is, is you know it's gorgeous country up there and it's like mm -hmm. it was at least they were on location for all that that yeah um, it is is Crater yeah. Lake California not the better known Crater Lake Oregon right and they could have just made it Crater Lake Alaska and come up with an excuse for all the daylight mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of ways out of it for them to, to deal with that but uh yeah, it was pretty, and the entertaining with the the two townies, Arnie and Mitch. Arnie and Mitch, yeah. That kind of just keep you going. All right, I don't need to totally turn this off. 
right i'll, I'll keep i'll keep paying yeah, attention well yeah you just you wanted to see what happened to them because it was like oh, okay well let's see you know what they did get into next because they were constantly getting into some kind of hijinks in between everything yeah i really thought they were gonna have the dinosaur as a pet by the end it seemed like I it know. could totally go that direction Yeah, because arnie wanted to like you know catch it and everything so yeah. they were, they were running their, to... their 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 boat shop or their boat yeah. rental and bait bait business yeah, yeah he wanted to use the dinosaur as like you know oh, a, an exhibit you know yeah. so he was planning on making money off of it and it ended up killing him <laughs> so yep. movie number two the the daytime ended um I'm, i'll tell you guys who the characters were if you can tell us about this movie laura <laughs> okay i'll try uh, the characters were were jenny we get to hear the words jenny scream more in this movie the only movie since then that we've heard the word jenny scream more was forrest gump and and it, yeah there was a lot of jenny screaming there was a man, old man named grant uh, the grandpa, who usually has a grimace or a scowl, he occasionally smiles. I get a lot of that. This morning, a trinary supernova, a simultaneous explosion of three giant stars. Lots of funny facial expressions. And then uh, he's married to a, a, you said that you saw her name in the credits. What was her name? It's, Aunt, it's Anna. Anna. Anna or Anna. Uh, yeah, usually yeah. he just, she's just referred to as, as Mama throughout most yeah. of the movie. <laughs> Mama. Mama, wake up. Uh, the, his, the blonde, his wife, and then they have uh, two kids, and those are Beth. And yet there is a feeling there of a warmth. These are life forms evolved past anything our imaginations are capable of perceiving now. And uh, and Richard. So, and Beth, excuse no, Richard, me, Beth, Richard. yeah, excuse me, Beth and Steve. Yeah. And then Steve's like the kid, and Steve, Steve is the most useless character in the entire movie. <laughs> He has no he has no point to be there. He's just there to like be a wall of flesh in the background. That's it. What is this, Dad? It doesn't make any sense at all. Jesus Christ. Uh they've got mm -hmm. Richard's uh Richard's uh, Jenny's dad, and then um yeah, I think that's Every, that's, that's like the, that's everybody the in the entire movie right there yeah yeah it's other than like the, the little alien that shows the claymation alien that shows up yeah it's some grant grant it's in the hallway what's in the hallway yeah and, and things just happen so there's yeah all right, all right, I wasn't going to go ahead. Yeah, you, you tell us what, what, what happened. Well, basically, I mean, basically, it's like you just said. It's just basically about the family. Um, and they move out to the desert uh, in this new house. And they... I'm just, uh, I'm sorry I have to interrupt. Because the new house and everything looks just like uh, Tatooine from Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Like, I totally got, like, the vibe that, like, like when they got done with this set, like, they went over and, and George Lucas was like, hey, I think we can do something. Like that. <laughs> yeah. But they, they move out to the desert in this new house, and they're all excited about it. And then, basically, aliens just invade, and all these different things happen. Um yeah, there Evidently, was the, the, there was the, alien... the super, the tri supernova explosion that yeah. took place. Yeah, it happens and it opens like a vortex of some type that's like a time warp type of thing that just time space warp i'm not sure i know exactly what that is i don't suppose anybody really does makes like they never explain really for them to like travel in other dimensions or planets or what i don't know yeah, they never really they never explain, really explain what the it. Is. Yeah. No, I mean, but you know, like whenever I looked this up, they said that like the this movie had three different titles originally, and 
uh, Earth's final fury, and then they were going to call it the vortex, and then they decided finally on the daytime ended. So I think that they just really didn't know where this was going to go either. <laughs> well, it's got that weird intro where where they it starts out and they're talking so quiet that you can like barely hear them, and you're afraid that like the entire movie is going to end up going that direction. Yeah. And but, and then it gets yeah. a little louder and little and and but mm -hmm. and yeah, it it doesn't start it yeah. had me worried right out of the gate. I think I think the first like twenty or thirty minutes of it is just really kind of dull, all except for the little girl having interactions with the aliens. She's she's the first one that has any interaction with them and she like basically befriends them. Yeah, she seems to get her powers from like that little. Uh, little she, she has a little yeah, pyramid that yeah, she pyramid. she gets, and she, you know, it controls the electricity and does different little tricks and things, yeah, and turns the water on and off. Yeah, so, but, like, it doesn't really pick up until, what, the last 30 minutes of the movie, and then, like, really crazy stuff starts happening with the aliens and them jumping from place to place, and... Yeah, before that, the family just has, like, weird stuff happen to them, like, the yeah. house gets messed up, and then a mirror yeah. fixes itself, and then... Uh, I know Jonathan, you you really like the the part where they were where she was flipping the or he was flipping the switch on and off and <laughs> and then yeah, and then, Grandma's she, acting is fantastic in that one. Anna, yeah, she blames. She, <laughs> she is thoroughly impressed with Grandpa's ability to flick a light switch and make the green light go away. And she blames it. She blames the green light on solar power. Yeah. It must oh, have been yeah. the solar power, yeah. It must have been that solar power. <laughs> that solar power turned it green. <laughs> See, it was just that solar power thing. <laughs> um, yep, yeah. that was uh, yeah. <laughs> There's not a whole lot going on in this flick that no. makes much sense. It's more of a, it's a it's a showcase for the the special effects. Yeah, um, it's really like a little vignette of just various things happening mm -hmm. happening, and it's slowly escalating. Yeah, right. and then you get the, the all the stop motion, the claymation stuff happening, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like the bulk of what. The, I guess whoever was making this movie wanted to do was to s show some creature battle, battling amongst themselves. Yeah. Um, and you get kind of an extended portion of just, like I said, just a lesson in claymation and yeah, how I, to shoot that. Yeah. I agree. There's, there's that and there's, and the, and the other special effects. It really does feel like someone trying to just showcase off a of special effects. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, that, and, and the acting's not movie together. right. And the acting's not <laughs> terrible. It's all serviceable. The, those guys yeah. are out there trying to do their jobs, and you know, but it's not the film's not super high budget. You know, it's 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 
pretty grainy and they ch- yeah. they sh- they're shooting in the, in the Sonora desert, which probably didn't help anybody being out there. It's all windy most of the time, you know, like they're out, yeah. outside cooking up steaks and, and having a salad. And you're like, that's going to be some gritty food. Uh-huh. Um, but, there, you know. There is like a weird protagonist in this movie. And that, um, and that's the, uh, the camcorder like um, drone. Mommy, that's the bad thing I told you about. Yeah, that That's, was weird. Yeah, the, I never the, did the, figure that out. The bad thing the little girl calls it that yeah. it just, like shows up and and chases them very, very, very <laughs> slowly. <laughs> and befo- and they're just they're just ruined by doors. It, and, oh, and it yeah. can stop. It can stop. Uh, it can stop a bullet though, because the old man tries to shoot it, and it stops the bullet in mid. Right. <laughs> But man, it's kind of like the Shyamalan yeah. thing, like aliens that just can't comprehend human <laughs> doors and are confounded by doors. Confounded by doors. Well, it burned a hole in the wall, and then once it broke through the wall, it just stopped. Well, the little girl decided to make it go away. At that oh, point. yeah. yeah. <laughs> and and we get this. Um, oh shoot, what was I gonna say? Um, I lost my train of thought on that one. Hold on, maybe I got it on one of my things over here. Extraterrestrial time gremlins befuddle isolationist family before showing them the promised land. <laughs> Was that what you were looking for? No, 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 at the beginning, they tell us it's going to be about time. Like, there's no difference between the past, the present, and the future. Mm-hmm. And although there's some, like, allusions to time travel, I don't, that doesn't really seem to, like, play out. And at the end of the movie, they, they don't know where or when they are, and they end up on some alien world. And we get this scene of them, like, marching, you know, taken off towards the, the alien world there at the end. And I, I really... <laughs> got that like sinking like pet in my feeling stomach of like oh god here we go it's the white people going off and they're, they're gonna go like ruin another uh civilization and i was like stop them just like now no don't let them in <laughs> you know something what? maybe this was all meant to be this is our new way of life They're gonna ruin everything. <laughs> yeah, and uh, oh. um, overall though, I, I it was it was an enjoyable movie to watch. Um, I, I it like kept me interested. Like, uh, it, there wasn't like a, a whole lot of time in which there was downtime that really I think like drew your attention away from the the movie. It, it was it, at least for me, it, it, it grabbed a hold of me pretty good on it. Mommy, isn't this fun? No, it's not fun, Jenny. It scares me. Like, not that any of it made sense. What is this, Dad? It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> None of it made sense. It was a, it was a, cr- a crap story. Yeah. <laughs> so <was> bad sound. <laughs> so this is the time of the evening where we got to make a decision, folks. Uh, we have to decide which one of these is going to be the golden turd and, and which one of these is going to get passed down to the lower ranks of the stinkiest poop. And uh, you got, feel free to jump in with a vote and, and why. Um, <laughs> well, I'm going to have to go with The Monster of Crater Lake for my vote as that is a movie that is a bad movie, yeah. but it's it was enjoyable. I could sit through that. It reminded me of, of Werewolf in Washington where it's like kind of campy. There's a lot going on that – if you if you were to really enjoy rewatching these, there's a lot to take out of that one, I think. Mm-hmm. And it was and it looked good. 
yeah. as far as cinematography goes. Um, yeah, that'd be my vote for the golden turd. Yeah, I agree. I, I would vote for the monster in Crater Lake, yeah. Because I just loved Arnie and Mitch. They they made the movie. I think uh, the other movie would have been better if it had Arnie and Mitch in it. So <laughs> Arnie, yes. Arnie and Mitch did make the movie and, and I'm I'm gonna try to convince you real quick to maybe to maybe change your vote. I think <laughs> that the daytime ended was was the better of the two movies at, at the end. Because when I look back on Crater Lake, Arnie and Mitch were the only good things. And the few moments of claymation were the only good things. And the the 10 or 15 minutes that that like makes up out of the movie versus the long lake shots, the second movie that doesn't make any sense, um, like versus just the out and out craziness of the day the time ended and the fact that you can i feel like with the day the time ended you can come in and step in at that movie at like almost any moment and and end up being amused and just spend five minutes if you want with it if you want or watch the entire thing and because of that i think that the day time ended I, i'm i would give the vote for for the golden turd, but I, I know right now I'm outvoted. <laughs> yeah, that's a hard, a hard sell for I'm me. Gonna say, just, I could do the same thing with the Crater Lake one. I could just like turn it on and it'd be midway through and I'd be like, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, because the characters in it were so simple and everything. Actually in both movies, the characters were so simple. You, you could do that with either movie, but. Yep. Crater and Lake, set, go ahead. Set design on Crater Lake is top notch. You figure they were just going into people's homes, straight up just random people that live around that lake. Uh, yeah, that was that was Arnie. Northern backyard. Cali. Yeah. 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 And yeah. there's like I was looking at all the just the little knickknacks everywhere and mm -hmm. you know, the signs that they made to, for like the, <laughs> the, 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 the mine where they're studying the 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 cave drawings is straight out of somebody who was like, Hey, who's an artist? Okay, we need you to write <laughs> so-and-so school or whatever it was at the very beginning um they're not weathered at all <laughs> as opposed to everything else in the town yeah. which is just worn out um so i got a kick out of that i just thought there was a lot more going on as far as <laughs> kind of i don't know like guerrilla movie making where you're just going and doing what you can mm -hmm. on a super low budget and and getting it done yeah and i could just look for that stuff in yeah. that movie um Versus set design. I, I think and, that's what makes it golden turd worthy. Yeah. <laughs> Crater Lake re reminded yeah. me a lot of uh, Bigfoot. Yeah. 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 A couple weeks ago. I yeah. It, it was a lot like that. A couple episodes ago. Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Well, then I guess that's it. Uh, starting out the sci fi right here, uh, Crater Lake uh, wins it. We're, we're coming in with two movies. I know they have Star in their name next week. I forget exactly what the, uh, the common theme is Alien 